Welcome to the My Blueberry Heaven. This is our honor stand that we had for a while and used for a while for the blueberries because it was very easy. A little refrigerator inside. Don built it. It was really fun to have for a while, but now we have you pick and that works out easier for me. I don't have to pick so many. So, our fields are over here. The trash dumpster is there because it was supposed to be um, blueberry trimming time. But this year we had a crazy hailstorm that kind of threw the blueberries off. And so now they're making blueberries where they should be like lower to the ground, completely stripped. We have two varieties that grow best here, and I'm not sure what uh, variety would be best for you in Northern California, because these are called coastal varieties. And you can see they're making blueberries. Um, they shouldn't be doing that right now, but they're kind of a crazy plant that every year it gives us a big surprise. With blueberries, they all blueberries, even yours in your area, will be need the same exact thing. They need really good drainage, and that would be um, a compost of some kind, and peat moss is the best thing that you can really get because it provides the ability for it to breathe <clears throat> and assimilate the, the uh, am amino acids. They're acid-loving plants. So, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> and peat so, moss. Yeah, and they need um, lofty loam of some kind or and then um, an additive like forest bland or one of those. That's the key, key with any blueberries, wherever they are. They need to have good drainage, lots of water, they don't like to be in a bog of any kind, so having that peat moss is really important. We need to work on the on the um, the dirt area because normally that would have a lot of uh, some kind of mulch of some kind to keep the moisture in and start enabling the plant to um, bring all the nutrients up for fertilizer we use it's called tiger elemental sulfur and since the blueberries need a really low pH and a really high acid soil they need to always be amended with that you can also use like blood meal or cotton food meal or if you just have one or two then you can just get the fertilizer that you would use on azalea they're akin to an azalea or rhododendron, but they um, they act exactly like a, a rose. They're pruned like a rose. If I pruned these right now, I would need to prune inside and get all that cross branching <laughs> and all that thick vegetation out of there. And then I, they call it lift the skirts, which would take this one's pretty good it's already been um, you know I would one of the advantages of blueberries is that you can do quick pruning they're very brittle but you wouldn't want to plant them anywhere where they would get a lot of um, people going by and, and breaking them um, this one right here needs to have the skirts lifted this this one's a new variety, and I can't remember, so it doesn't help. <laughs> this one's called, I'm doing a lot of new ones in here just for fun. Don doesn't know why I do it. This one's called Lemonade, and I wish there was one berry on there. You could see it's bright pink. I almost thought that was it because that's the color it gets. And they don't taste like blueberries. They taste like pink lemonade. People never pick them because they don't think they're ripe. Um, yeah, so these need to be, for, for good production, 
they need to have at least two varieties i don't know if you can see here this one's called sharp blue and it's the easiest for us to grow here it's just a, a regular good old blueberry this one's called misty and it is really hard to grow propagate but then it starts growing so fast that it almost kills itself you have to kind of help it slow down if you look on the fields most of the the ones that are growing now are the are the misties that are getting too tall uh, okay. any 